Hey Scrubs, this is Retro, and this is going to be a very basic install guide for Mod Organizer 2, as well as how to install a couple of basic mods using the tool. So why are you here? You've seen someone with a modded Skyrim or Fallout playthrough, and you thought, damn, I want a piece of that action. Well, luckily for you, viewer, I've got the beans. Head over to github.com slash modorganizer2 slash modorganizer slash releases, <gasps> and scroll down to the bottom, and you will see... All the different downloads you can get. Grab the latest version of Mod Organizer. So right now it is Mod Organizer 2.3.2.7. Download that. It will come in a zipped, compressed folder. Once you've done that, download is complete. Head over to your downloads folder. Open up the folder with something like WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, something like that, just so you can view inside the compressed folder. When it opens up, you'll notice that there is no sort of simple install. It's already ready to go out of the box. You just need to extract this somewhere convenient. Now, where you extract all this to is going to be a case of personal preference. I personally like to keep all of my modding tools together, so they go on my E drive all together under a modding tools folder. You can click on the button and specify an extraction folder, or you can simply drag and highlight and select all of these files and just drag them to where you want to put them. Also important to note, or a nice quality of life feature, is click on the modorganizer.exe, right click on it, sorry, create a shortcut, drag the shortcut onto your desktop. You'll thank me later. So upon starting the application for the first time, it's going to ask you to choose an instance. You're gonna to have to create a new instance. For example, I'm about to rebuild a Skyrim mod list. Spoilers, like and subscribe to see how you build that. So, Click New, Create New Instance, put in a name for it. I'm going to call mine Skyrim Base. Once you've done this, you need to specify which game you would like to manage. If the game doesn't appear here, scroll to the bottom of the list and you can click Browse, and then you can specify a file path for wherever your game is installed, assuming that it's compatible with Modern Organizer 2. I'm going to select Skyrim Special Edition. Now, You'll get this pop-up. You are starting Morgan Organizer for the first time. Would you like to see the tutorial of its basic features? I would recommend, even after you've heard my droning voice for 5-10 minutes, go through this tutorial, just have a little look, see if it's got anything that I haven't covered. I'm going to skip it now just for convenience. You've started Skyrim up in the Mod Organizer 2. First time, it's going to look like this. In the top right, you can see this orange arrow that says Run, and to the left of it, it should say Skyrim Special Edition. Run the game once. What this will do is it will generate files for Mod Organizer 2 for your Skyrim Special Edition INI files, which are the configuration files. It's very important that you do this before we start modding anything. So run the game once. I like to go up to... I'm superstitious, so I go to the end of the carriage ride. I'll save the game manually, and then I'll quit out. But all the INI files will then be generated for Mod Organizer 2, and you can quit out, and then you can start installing mods. So, where are you going to find all the mods that you like? Probably off the Nexus nexusmods.com forward slash Skyrim special edition slash mods. If you already have a mod in mind, Groovy, I would suggest first time install, get the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Also, if it's your first time installing mods, don't go to the Nexus, go on mods and just go absolutely crazy and just grab anything that catches your eye because a lot of these mods will have required mods that they need. Some of them have advanced configurations, so I would definitely have a look at some basic installs that you can follow along on either on YouTube or on Nexus. Oh, plug my channel again. I'm about to do one of these over the next couple of days for Skyrim. Um, and I'll show you a couple of those today now in this video, if anyone wants to see that. Excellent. Finally, before you can download things from the Nexus straight into your Mod Organizer 2, click on the wrench and screwdriver icon in MO2. This will bring up your settings. Make sure that when you go into your settings, go to the tab that says Paths. Make sure that your base directory is where your Mod Organizer tool is installed. And then check the directories underneath it, so downloads, mods, caches, profiles, overwrite. Make sure they all say base direct, and then the slash downloads, mods, cache, profile, and overwrite. That means that those folders are in the right location. If this isn't the case, if yours doesn't look similar to this, it probably won't be E slash modding tools unless you have an E drive. But wherever your mod organizer 2 is installed, the downloads should then be directed to percentage base underscore dir percentage slash downloads also your managed game should be whatever game 
you are trying to mod for that profile. So for me, it's Skyrim Special Edition. So mine is Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Commons, Skyrim Special Edition, SkyrimSE.exe, okay? Click on the tab that says Nexus, connect to Nexus, enter your details for the Nexus site here. If you haven't already got a Nexus account, make one, be a hero. When that has been accepted, go over to the Nexus, find the mod that you want. Here I'm gonna use the unofficial Skyrim SE patch. Click on the Files tab on the mod page. Go Mod Manager Download, and you might have a pop-up. I haven't got one here because I've already authorized it, but you might have a pop-up that says, specify what program you want to open this type of link, and then you simply find the directory that your Mod Organizer 2 executable, or the Mod Organizer 2.exe is placed in, which will be wherever you've installed Mod Organizer 2. Once this is done, you'll notice that a download is started in your Downloads tab on Mod Organizer 2. I absolutely love the look of this little progress bar. I don't know what it is. The green is just so satisfying to me. Anyway, when that's done, double click on the completed download to begin installing it. Go across to your mods in the left window in Mod Organizer 2 and tick the box for that mod to enable it. If you want to doubly make sure that the mod is enabled, go back into the right window, go to plugins and check that the plugin for that mod is also ticked. If you have been following along correctly so far, you will have the unofficial Skyrim patch installed. You'll have your mod organizer set up. You'll have connected it to your Nexus account and you'll be able to install some mods. So Skyrim's ready to be modded. You've got one mod installed. That's where we're going to end this video. In the next video, I will show you how to add on a couple of more mods and we'll have a look at how drastically that can change with sort of six or seven mods, how drastically you can change the look of Skyrim Special Edition. If you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, say thanks, thanks Retro, here's a cookie, high five, big daddy. Anyway, have a great day guys, peace.